Alright guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous chemtrail sunset here. In paradise in the end times, it is now a Friday. It is a sunset Friday. Look at that. January 19th, 2024. It is 70 degrees right now, heading to 37. I... I just checked in at Bugs in a Jar Farm where it is, what did it say? It is 21 degrees with blowing snow. Feels like it's 14 with a low of 11 degrees. So uh, <laughs> I will not complain about uh, the 70 degree sunset here but i guess we have one more weekend of winter 37 tonight 29 degrees tomorrow night 36 on sunday night and then back into the 80s next week so uh i'm actually sitting here enjoying this sunset i'm getting ready to head up to uh join these fellows who I used to play music with 25 years ago. I guess we have a gig tonight at the uh, at the Donellan train station. The old train station. The Whistle Stop Cafe. So I will be uh, playing acoustic music with my buddies uh who, uh, well, I played a couple of weeks ago with them, and uh, so it's just the old band back together after 25 years. <laughs> you know how uh, they asked me, "What's what's been going on with you, Hammond, in the last 25 years?" And I said, "Oh, you know, just 25 years on the planet." They. Uh, so they, of course, know me uh, from my pre-Doomer days. Uh, so the name of their band apparently was Morally Ambiguous. <laughs> was they, they named their, their band Morally Ambiguous, and that did not go over well in this uh, part of the country so uh, they were getting some pushback from these uh, these venue owners about their choice of their name morally ambiguous so I guess the uh, the name of the band is now the Marion County line so that is Marion County and this is Citrus County so we are we are on the Citrus County side of the... No, wait a minute. Uh, because the the I'm on the south side of the Withlacoochee River, so I am in Citrus County, but I guess the, the Whistle Stop Cafe is three blocks inside the Marion County line. So uh, I will be right on the Marion County line with my morally ambiguous buddies. We're going to play some country music and some old rock and roll favorites. We're going to play some Merle Haggard. We're going to play some Dwight Yoakam. I think we're going to play some... Uh, we're going to do some of the old rock and roll favorites from the 1970s and have us a good old time playing, uh, playing acoustic music. Playing acoustic music and with your friends in the end times at the Whistle Stop Cafe. So, uh, you know... When you're not dooming and glooming, so uh, you know, my, my new motto for the year is to try to accomplish one thing each day. I get out of bed, 
And I say, okay, Amon, you're going to accomplish one thing, but I am, uh, I am charging ahead. So let's see. Uh, we have a new toilet seat. We have a curtain across the bedroom closet. We have two door thresholds. We have fixed the lamp in the living room and we have put all new cover plates on all of the outlets in the trailer. So I've pretty much accomplished a week's worth of stuff today. It has been a very, uh, we, we have made progress in Doomsday Trailer. And now we're going to uh, go play some uh, play some music with the artist formerly known as Morally Ambiguous. <laughs> you know, tr trying to name your band Morally Ambiguous in in uh, in Donellan, Florida, you gotta love it. But. Uh... <laughs> I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to wrap my head around the uh, morally ambiguous. What does that mean? What the hell was that? That was a big ass. That was a fish or a gator. I don't know where are all my bird friends. We got the little blue heron here today. Little blue is joining me, but nobody else. Man, it is a spectacularly gorgeous Kim Trail sunset over the end times. But, uh, so I honestly don't know. I'm pretty sure this big ass thing going all the way across the sky, I'm assuming it looked like this. You know, a couple of hours ago, this thing here looked like this thing here. Uh, so what do we have? We've got one, two, three, four. You've got five of them going this way. Uh, yes, the glorious Cap Trail sunsets. So anyway, uh, I'm I'm sitting out the Doomosphere today uh, and sticking to actually getting things done and playing acoustic music with my friends while I still can, and, uh, and it's just. And, and sitting here, you know, at the dock talking to the folks, so I was, uh, <laughs> I really wish to fuck I had the uh, camera going this morning. There was this fellow here. He was about my age. <coughs> I did this video, you know, about the limp dick lefties, about the satire of this grumpy old man uh, ranting about everything. This dude. He pulls up. I was down there drinking my coffee this morning. I, I really wish the fuck I, I could have turned on the uh, on the camera. I, I mean, he's not even out of his boat yet, and and he's starting all of this grumpy old man ranting about uh it wasn't so much political it, it, i i i wasn't even sure if he was a trump tar now of course mexicans were a big part of his rant but it was it it was unclear exactly what he was saying about mexicans what he was he was he is in favor of bringing mexicans here to work, so he's totally in favor of open borders. To we need more fucking Mexicans because nobody else will do any fucking work. He goes, but once the Mexicans get here, we can't just give them everything. If we, 
if we give them everything, then they're not going to want to work for us. So, you know, he was talking about this delicate line that you got to play with Mexicans. Just uh, bring them over. Give them a little bit. Give them a little bit to get them started, like, you know, planting a Mexican seed. But don't give them so much that they don't want to fucking work. And uh, he, is, he is down there snowbirding. Where was he? Somewhere outside of Chicago. Uh, so we had a... We had a good rant about Mexicans. I was, you know, I went into my rant about how I have been uh, begging Greg Abbott, begging Greg Abbott to send a, a busload of Mexicans to Ithaca, New York. And uh, he seconded that motion. He thought uh, he was surprised to hear that there were no Mexicans in Ithaca. And I said, well, I'm doing everything I can to get Greg Abbott to send me some damn, a busload of Mexicans. And then, uh, good God, we went off on, uh, we went from Mexicans to rodents to the younger generation. I guess, uh, this man has a 13-year-old and a 6-year-old. He has two grandchildren, one 13 and one 6. He, uh, he goes, they're the laziest little fuckers. Uh, <laughs> he can't stand his own fucking grandchildren. That they won't get off their fat asses. Uh, uh, God, I wish to hell. I could have uh, just let the tape run about this grumpy old man uh, talking about the goddamn Mexicans and, and, and the fucking uh, six-year-olds and 13-year-olds with their fucking smartphones and uh, just how completely fucked that this uh, latest generation, you know, talking about uh, how completely fucking helpless they are without their fucking smartphones, uh, you know, telling them how to wipe their goddamn asses. Uh, I mean, this dude was a classic. He was fucking hilarious. All right, here come our... Here come our trio. There comes my trio. These are the sandhill cranes. Coming in. Now where are you going? I don't know where my buddies have been. Oh, these are the my buddies, the sandhill cranes. Uh, Looks like all we're going to see in this is their uh, reflection in the water. They heard me ranting. You know, these these birds, uh, I, I honestly think these, these sandhill cranes like my rants because whenever I start ranting, I mean, I brought, the, those sons of bitches were way over uh, in Marion County. They heard me ranting. So they came to, uh, it's so nice to have an audience. Oh, man. Anyway. I should probably be. What time is it? 5.39. I got six more minutes and, uh. I guess our gig is technically six to nine, but uh, I'm going to sit out the first set and let them get the, get the crowd warmed up <clears throat> before I get out my harmonicas and join them. So we're going to be...
entertaining the Trump tards with our morally ambiguous trio. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you really do need to uh, take a break from the doomosphere every day. And, uh, get out there and try to accomplish something and play some acoustic music with your friends while you still can hang out and watch the sand hill cranes. I'm not going to see him in this light. All right. Uh, pretty gorgeous. All right, little dog, you ready to head to the Whistle Stop Cafe? Bye, guys.